Today we're gonna to be talking about what is Git. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. Maybe you've seen GitHub and wondered what it is or who it's for. Well, today we're gonna to talk about it. If you're new to the Self Teach Me channel, my name is Amy Dutton. I'm a web designer and developer. I've designed and coded hundreds of websites. Most of them you probably never even heard of, but some of them you probably have. A lot of the web probably seems like black magic and it's hard to know what resources to trust and where to go and what to learn next. I wanna change that and help you on your journey. So if that's something that you're interested in, hit the subscribe button below or head over to selfteach.me and join my email newsletter. Okay. So what is Git? Git is a version controlled system. It's not tied to any particular framework, technology, project. You can use it on websites, web application apps, iPhone app, or just your documents. All it means is it records every single change that you make to your project. Okay, so why use it? Number one, you have unlimited undos on your project. Imagine being able to go back in any point in history in your project. Uh, maybe that sounds dumb. Why would you ever wanna go back to the very beginning of your project where you don't have anything saved? Yeah, that would be dumb, but imagine being able to go back to that point and see exactly how you set things up and what steps you did to get to where you are. Now that is incredibly valuable. Or maybe a more likely scenario, you are trying to experiment with your code and so instead of having five different versions of the same file with different snippets or huge chunks of commented out code, each doing different things, yeah, Git takes care of all that. It allows you to experiment with your code and revert back to where you were at certain points and keep track of these changes that you're making. Git handles all of that. Number two, it also means that you can work with a team of people without ever worrying about overriding each other's code or stepping on each other's toes. In fact, you can even have the same file open and not overwrite each other's work. Number three, an added benefit is backup. You'll have a copy of the project on your computer, a copy online, and if you're working with someone else, they'll have a copy of the project on their machine as well. Don't lose your stuff. Still not convinced? Let's be honest. What we really care about is real world examples. So let's talk through a few scenarios. I did freelancing on my own for seven years and I put Git on every single one of my projects even though I wasn't working with another developer. Not only did it improve my workflow, but it saved my butt a couple times. Let me show you the old way. I would fire up transmit, find the files that I had updated and drag and drop them over. Every time a change is made, I'd have to remember what files I had changed and sometimes go into multiple directories to find the changed files. Doable, but definitely a pain. With Git, I make a change to a file, then I actually use a program called Tower and say, these are the changes that I made, and it would automatically update my server for me. We can go into more detail on what that workflow looks like, but just want to whet your appetite. Git is even more awesome when working with a team. When I was just out of college, I was working at an agency. Git wasn't around then. And whenever we were collaborating on a project, I'd actually have to talk to the person next to me and say, hey, are you changing this file? Because I didn't want to overwrite the changes they were making. And then when they hit save, I didn't want them to overwrite the changes I was making. So most of the time, we ended up working on projects by ourselves just so we didn't have that type of conflict. Wah, wah. Again, Git solves all of that. And the other night, Nice thing is if I am collaborating with someone on a project and I have a question about the code, I can tell who wrote it to be able to go ask the author what they were doing. Pretty cool. Okay, so if you're sold, to install Git on a Mac, it's pretty easy. Sorry, Windows. Just fire up Terminal. If you don't know what that is, go to Spotlight and type in Terminal, and you'll see Terminal Notifier is different than Terminal App. So you wanna open up Terminal. Or if you wanna be fancy like me, I use Hyper with a Cobalt 2 theme. iTerm2 is also another great app. It does the exact same thing. I'll include links in the description below. These alternatives have a few more options and customizations, plus they look a little bit nicer than the terminal that comes pre-installed on your computer. Moving on. Once you have your terminal opened up, type Git and then hit enter. I have Git installed, so I have this large output. If you don't have Git installed already, a dialog will appear that says, the Git command requires the command line developer tools. Would you like to install the tools now? Click install and agree to the terms of service when that dialog comes up. And when you're finished, hit done, of course. First time that you're setting up Git, there are a few configurations that you'll need to set up. So within your terminal, type git config global user.name 
and then you'll type your name, so Amy Dutton. If you want to make sure that this was entered correctly, you can type git config global user dot name and it will tell you. The same thing is true for your email address. You'll say git config global user dot email. And within quotes, I'll say amy at self teach dot me. Now when I say git config global user dot email, it will tell me what is saved in that setting. As a quick aside, if you wanted to set this for an individual project and not every single project that you create, you would leave off that dash dash global. So it would look something like this, git config user dot email and you might do hello at selfteach.me. The reason we're setting these up is so that on a project, you can associate a specific commit with your name and email address. And if you're thinking ahead, this means when you're working on a project with people, you can associate a specific line of code to a specific user. Yeah, Git is all set up now and you can continue to use it through the terminal. However, there are a few GUIs or graphical user interfaces that will make it a little bit easier when you're trying to work with Git. You don't have to remember all these command line prompts to enter into the terminal. The way that I learned was I learned the theory and the vocabulary first and then that will apply regardless of what tech you use, whether you're using a terminal or an application. So there's several different applications. VS Code is my editor of choice, so it's pretty cool that they have an entire section of their app dedicated specifically to Git. You don't even have to leave the code you're working on, you can just do everything right there. Plus, VS Code is free. Tower is my weapon of choice. I've been using it for years. When I started, there weren't as many options, or at least not as many options that actually worked and looked good. Within the last couple of years, they've changed their pricing model, so you actually have to pay for it every year, but it's an app that I use every day, so for me, it is definitely worth it. Source Tree is another option. There are a few people that I work with that use Source Tree. It's made from the same people that make Bitbucket, Jira, and Trello. If you've heard of those applications, it's free, which is a huge win, but I don't have a lot of experience with it, so I can't speak to the user interface. Yeah, GitHub Desktop is another application. I bet you can't guess who created that app. Uh, yes, GitHub created GitHub Desktop. This is another free app. The only downside is that you can only use it with GitHub. So if you're working on a project that has code at Bitbucket or GitLab, you'll have to choose another application. And then just for good measure, Git Fork and Git Kraken are two other options. I haven't used either of those, but as I mentioned, I'll include links to all of these in the description below. Sweet. Sweet, I think you're set up for success. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button below, hit the bell icon if you wanna receive notifications when new videos are posted. Um, until then, keep coding.